Do you want a free or almost free Zapier or Pavly alternative to automate your workflows? Well, then this video is for you. Hi, I'm Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. I'm so happy you could join us today and let's get started. I say it's free and almost free because with active pieces, you can have it both ways. If you go to their homepage, you scroll down a bit, you can go to their GitHub and you can get all the files you need from this website or directly through your computer through terminal or I forgot what it's called on, on Windows but on Mac it's a terminal. You can connect directly from your computer to GitHub and download these files and install them and use active pieces on your computer. You can also via their documentation here install it on EasyPanel, AWS, GCP. Those would not be free. Those are options you also have to pay for because you're accessing through the cloud. If you choose the Docker or Docker Compose those are free on your computer which is pretty slick. And the almost free version is the one you get through AppSumo right now. It's almost free because it's pretty cheap compared to a lifetime of usage. And in this video, I'm going to show you what Active Pieces does as of right now and hopefully what they're going to add on in the future. So if we log into our account, it's really basic. So we have our flows, chatbots is deprecated, they're longer, no longer working on those. Runs shows flows that have run, connections are connections you've made, and team shows your team members in the app. You really be working entirely on flows. And just to reiterate, everything you see in this video can be installed on your computer and you can get it totally for free. Or you can do the AppSumo route and use it in the cloud like I'm doing right here in this demonstration. So to make a flow, all you do is click on new flow. It pops up a bunch of templates. You can browse through them. You can click on use template to get started with that. They're adding more continually to help you get your flows up and running faster. You can also start from scratch. And there's no branching as of right now, as far as I can tell. At least I wasn't able to find any documentation about it. So you have a straight line. So you have a trigger, which could be something like publishing a WordPress post. If you're finding this video useful, let me know by liking it and leaving a comment down below. And then click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos that I publish on this channel. I try to publish useful videos all year long, so you're not going to want to miss it. Now let's get back to the video. New post. To make the connection, we have to install their plugin from GitHub. You just download the zip file, upload it to your WordPress site via the plugins upload. If you don't know how to do that, there's a link in the description and I'll put it in the card up above that shows you how to install plugins via zip file on your WordPress site. You choose a name. If you're going to have multiple WordPress sites in here, I suggest you choose different ones. So maybe even define which WordPress site specifically this would be. Add the username and password and website URL of that WordPress site. Then click on save and it'll connect and it'll detect when a new post is made. When a new post is made, click on this plus here, we can do stuff with that information that was posted. For example, we could ask ChatGPT or OpenAI, ask ChatGPT via the OpenAI action to connect it. This connection is via the uh, open AI API, it walks you through the setup. There's actually a link that takes you to where you got to go to get the, the keys to make it work. Choose DaVinci 003, I believe that's the usually the most current one. Give it a question. Please turn this blog post into a social media post for X. And we click on new post here and that pulls in the new post data once we have connected it and there's a post there waiting for us. So it would have an option here, it'll pop that into there and it's going to create a social media post based on that post. And then once that's done, since that was specifically for X or Twitter, we can create a tweet based on that post that was just created. So it's just like Zapier and Pabli where th something happens at the very beginning and that data can go through and flow through all the different steps and be used in various different ways. And when I mentioned earlier that it's not branching, this is where, in my case, when I was, if I was making this, this is where this flow would end. What does this do? This duplicates in line. Yeah, so you can't have this Ask Chat GPT go two directions. So I couldn't have it ask, or have it up here actually, Ask Chat GPT to make a post for X and then publish it there. In a different branch, Ask Chat GPT to make a post for LinkedIn and then publish it. And then Ask GPT to make a post for uh, Instagram and then publish that. So having it all in one line is a little bit limiting in my opinion. And Zapier didn't introduce this until there are many, many years into their business, but now these days it's it's like commonplace. You need to be able to branch to be able to work this stuff properly. So hopefully they're gonna be adding branching. And then you can also, 
let's say uh, you want to get a notification when this post is completed. So you can add Slack, connect to Slack, message to, well, you can put in a channel for the whole team or just to you as a user or a specific user. And then they'll get these notifications when the social media post is created. I'm going to call this WordPress to X. And then I would come in here, duplicate this, and I'd switch this out. No easy switch button. So delete that and put Instagram in here and then have a WordPress to Instagram workflow. Instead of having branching, you just got to make a bunch of different workflows, but you are limited in how many workflows you can make depending on which account you have. So if uh, it also auto saves, I was waiting for it to auto save just now so I could leave that WordPress to Instagram. If we go down to or up to subscription, Shows here we're on AppSumo tier one. We have 20 connections. Currently we're using one just for OpenAI, the one that you saw earlier. We have 10,000 tasks that resets in 29 days. And we also have one user. So if you want better stats, you can see the, the better stats over here. But if we have these flows and each step is a task. So this would be one task, two tasks, three tasks, four tasks to run this one time. And that's just to post to Instagram that you want to post to X and LinkedIn and uh, Facebook and what have you, though that all eats up your tasks. So you have not a limit in workflows, but a limit in task numbers. Just confirm there's no limit in workflows. There's no mention of workflows. So you can have unlimited workflows. You just need to have lots of tasks to run as many tasks as you need. And really that's all there is. That's all there is to it. Let's check out what kind of apps they have before we head on out. So for triggers, or first of all, there's all as a filter and then core. These are the apps built by active pieces. Zapier has a whole bunch of these core just has, or sorry, active pieces just has two right now. And then app events would be everything aside from the core. Let's go back to all. I'm just going to scroll through these so you can see which apps it can connect to. And a lot of these can do multiple things, which I'll click into one of them in a minute. Connects to a lot of the Google services. That's nice. Gravity Forms, WordPress plugin. MailChimp. I want to connect from WordPress to MailChimp. WooCommerce, WordPress. And that's the end of the list. So for WordPress, there's only one trigger. That's all you can do. If we went to, for example, ClickUp, there's a lot you can do. And these lightning bolts means when this happens, the, the app runs instantly. There's no wait time. Depending on which tier you're on, there's different wait times for how long it checks your account to see if tasks are waiting to be completed. Not the case with the ClickUp task because it goes right away. So a little hack you could do, theoretically, is at the beginning of every single task, have a ClickUp, a ClickUp action, like a new task is created and that task is a specific name that you determine that runs a certain flow and it runs instantly every single time no wait time it's a bit of a hacky way to do it but you could in that way never have any wait times but you'd have to manually go and create the task or have some kind of automated automated way to create the task there's support which is always nice to have this is a pretty active community you can see this was active within the last one minute one hour there's also a roadmap a little hacky to find it to google it and then go through some pages on their website but this is the roadmap for active pieces on github i'll link to this in the description down below so you don't have to go through the pain of finding it and as you can see they're working on a lot of stuff and hopefully some of the stuff that you see here interests you and all of these things as far as i know are going to be part of the open source option as well that you can install directly on your computer for free which is super slick and I've never seen that before for an automation platform like this. If there is one, let me know in the comments, but I, I'm not sure there is an automation platform that allows you to make workflows like this for free on your computer. Super cool. And if you want to check out Active Pieces, there's a link in the description down below. It is an affiliate link. So if you end up buying through that, I get a commission. It does not make it more expensive for you, but it helps me keep making these videos on YouTube for free. And I really appreciate the support if you buy through that link. Next up, check out this video right here. It's all about backing up and restoring your WordPress site. It's a key skill to have for any WordPress owner. So make sure you check that out. And if you like videos about lifetime deals, check out this channel right here. It's my other channel called Limitless LTDs, and it's all about lifetime deals on software. 
So make sure you check that out. And if you haven't done so yet, click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. My name is Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. Till next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.